Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a sharking scenario. Uh, this is a very intriguing scenario. Sharking means when you take advantage or a trade goes and it's lopsided one way or another. So this is a great scenario to talk about and I definitely want you guys to leave comments below of what you feel like should be done. The player goes to his local game store. He has a CD of brass. Another player wants the CD of brass. Player A tells player B, hey, you know, check up the price. And this is very typical. I tell um, people to check up the price all the time. The guy checks up the price. It says it's $70. And because the card is moderately played, he offers, the player A offers to trade it for $50. The trade happens. It's done. And then what happens, it turns out they probably confused the card. And the card is not CD of Brass Arabian Nights, which is worth $70. It's City of Brass Chronicles with the Arabian Night symbol. So it's white bordered instead of black. And he realizes, oh my gosh, this trade went bad. So he starts complaining. Now, there's two ways we can kind of see this. We can kind of see this as you should be a good person and you should trade back the card. Or we can see it as an educational learning experience for the player B who really should do a better job figuring out how to trade now i'm not saying one is better or we should look at it one way or another it's just interesting because a mistake is made it looks like both players did not know the value of this particular card or did not know that there were possible different values of the card and an honest mistake was made now should the player be able to trade back and get you know his original cards back or is it something like, mm, you, once you learn this, you're going to be a lot more careful with your cards? I'm of, you know, I'm of the slight opinion. I'm going to lean towards that the trade should go back. I'm going to assume it's not a scam and that the guy actually traded a Arabian Nights or traded a Chronicle away and he's going to get a Chronicle back and not that he traded Arabian Nights away and he's going to get a Chronicle back. That would be a pretty bad scam. But assuming it's not a scam, he probably should trade it back because your reputation in your trade or in your local game store is worth far more than you know fifty or seventy dollars in trade. So, what are your opinions about it? What do you feel like should happen? Uh, do you feel like the player who said that it was fifty dollars or seventy dollars he was responsible for that price point? If he makes a mistake on that, then that's a mistake, especially if the player A, the player trading away the card, doesn't really know. Or should you always be fair and you should always do tradebacks and what level? So this is a higher version of it. But let's say it's a $20 card or a $10 card or even a $5 card. Um, what level would you say that this should be done at?